Lastly, I want to leave you with what could be the potential economic impact if we get a hold of this, these alien technologies. Um, I'm not saying oh, we should or shouldn't, but I'm just, just to start thinking about it. Let's say that we, we get a hold of this alien technology where we can travel without using any energy we, we instantaneously. You can travel anywhere you want. There are no wings, there's no fuel, and you can just, I'm making this up now, but you just go from one place to another because you've been space time, you end up over there. You no longer need airplanes. You have millions of people put out of work, anywhere from manufacturing airplanes all the way through the pilots and all the support staff and, and the stewards and stewardesses, and they're gone. Real estate changes. In COVID, we, we, we're facing now a commercial real estate crisis in the country because during COVID, so many workers worked at home instead of going to the office. Now that COVID's over, many of them are not going back to the office. So there's incredible amounts of corporate office space that's free. And as those leases run out, they're not going to be renewed, or they're renewed for 30% of the size they were before. Now, if we can just travel anywhere we want at any time, virtually instantaneously, real estate is kind of gone, right? You can live in the middle of Arizona and you can attend your meeting in Manhattan in a split second by being in the office. We're talking about economic impacts. Energy, we think it'd be great, and it would be great if these alien technologies enable us to get unlimited energy without having to pollute the environment. But understand that as soon as we get that, there are millions and millions of people in the energy business, whether put out of put out of work immediately, whether they're gas station attendants or owners, there are millions and millions of people put out of work instantaneously. So these things are poten potentially traumatic events on society, maybe for good. Not only that, but let's say the aliens decide to now, instead of really going around military facilities and military operations uh, going on, let's say they decide to all of a sudden appear over our cities. There may well be panic. There may well be a breakdown of law and order. You'll be glad for the Second Amendment. If you exercise your Second Amendment rights, you'll be glad about that in, that, in such a scenario if that happens. So just don't be so sure that uh, this, uh, this will, could be the military. Thing, the information, they talk, they talk about the drip method. It's dripping out slowly because of leaks. And now Congress is on the case and the press is on the case and maybe there'll be more whistleblowers. So, but it could be this is a conscious effort to drip it slowly out to the public so that we don't have such immediate massive changes that have catastrophic, catastrophic consequences for so many people's lives, even though in the long term, it could be very good for people. Now, this is all speculation. I don't know. But I can tell you is when you're hearing what you're hearing in the press, um, when you're hearing from experts, a lot of it, they don't know either. And don't take them as take it as fact. The evidence is overwhelming now. It's overwhelming. Best of luck to you all. Best of health to you all. Thank you for watching.